6.30 wake-up call by the Bugler in Bulford. Today it's Lance Corporal Hater's job to act as timekeeper. I got into work for 6 o'clock, went into the um, storeroom, picked up the Bugle, had a few uh, practices down the Bugle, ready to play my first call which starts at 06.30 which is uh, Ravalli. So then that lets everybody know in the battalion it's time to wake up, it's time to get out of bed, uh, get yourself sorted, ready for the day. There are calls for post, meal times and also a sick call before the final call in the evening. There's a little ceremony that takes place every day at 1800. The orderly officer and all the company orderly sergeants, um, COSs, they line up by the flags, um, they lower the flags and the bugler will play retreat which is quite a long piece, and that gets played while the flags are lowered. One, two. Since practice makes perfect, just like with any other musical instrument, riflemen will play together during the day. A bugler will train in Catterick before being given the job of duty bugler, but for some, it takes time to reach that level. When I first picked the bugle up, uh, to give it a go. My lips weren't uh, accustomed to playing uh, any sort of trumpet, bugle, horn, uh, so they were obviously really weak. Uh, it takes time to strengthen them up, just like it takes time to strengthen any, any muscle up in your body, because your lips are a muscle. You need, to, you need to practice it, you need to work on it, uh, and in time they become strong, and then you can hit those notes and change notes uh, with ease. Sometimes when they come off the courses, they can play, but they can't play. They're not good enough to go on duty bugler. Sometimes it might take a year for someone to become up to the required standard to get out there and play in front of the battalion and play duty bugler. What I want you to do, first of all, check you cannot see through the cards. They're just, just normal business cards. Then I want you to write down any number. A keen magician. Lance Corporal Hater is also a keen musician, which is why he became a bugler in the first place. It's quite a privilege to be in Bugles. So you sort of you are the face of the battalion. All the ceremonial things that pop up, Bugles are right in the centre of that, um, and we get to travel all up and down the country, all all around Europe. The job can often mean playing to the public, like these Buglers in Winchester. For that, it's important that they dress to impress. We've got some wings here. Uh, all musicians wear wings. Uh, it's just something to add to the uniform. Uh, and then we've got cords here. My cords are green and black. Uh, I'm the battalion adjutant bugler, so I would wear green and black. Uh, however, usually your bog standard bugler would just have black cords. The rifle cap is basically from the, it originates from the 1800s. Um, uh, when we used to use a Baker rifle, we used to take the rifle cap off. Um, you'd place it down in front of you and you'd balance your Baker rifle on top of the rifle cap and that would help you um, with accuracy when you're firing it. For these riflemen, bugling is just part of the job. They're also assault pioneers. We're the engineer platoon of the battalion. It's important to have, to not just be a bugler, because otherwise, essentially all you are is a musician. You know, we're infantry soldiers, and we join to be an infantry soldier. Water purification, infantry assault bridges, demolition, all that sort of good stuff. Um, we do that as well as bugling, so bugling is only sort of like half the job. There's no longer bugles on the battlefield, but there'll always be bugles in the hearts and on the hats of these rifles. Hannah Gurney, Forces News in Bulford.